Hey everybody, the voice of insanity here. Thank you again for tuning in. Uh, we've got another creepy pasta read through. Uh, although this one uh, isn't exactly creepy, uh, it is on creepy pasta and it's titled "Survival Guide." So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We've all been there. We have just gone to a certain place at a certain time on a certain date, done a special thing, and the thing you suspected would happen has just fucking happened. Not to mention the fact that you've just seen whatever the fuck it is that lives in your mirror, been told in detail how you're going to die, and the highly demonic and invincible thing you summoned is headed towards you. Also, your family are all dead, your friends are all missing, and you're being framed by someone who wants access to your bedroom. What the fuck do you do now, sweet protagonist? Well, you've come to the right place to find out. These are the simple rules one must follow in order to firstly not become the victim of creepypasta and furthermore to come out kicking if the worst does happen. With the help of this guide, you too can be the catatonic... I'm sorry guys, this is a little hard to read through. With the help of this guide, you too can be the catatonic traumatized wreck as opposed to the guy currently being worn as a coat by some dude who roams a lot. Just keep these rules in mind. Number one. Mirrors and darkness don't mix. Number two, actually, mirrors are a general no in creepypasta world. There is nothing more sinister. Number three, there is zero chance of survival if you look the thing that no one else can see or answer its question incorrectly. Number four, if you are alone at night in a creepy mental institution, take some time to consider, what the fuck are you doing there? Then, if it is appropriate to do so, leave. Number five, Avoid going to places where everyone else who went there never came back or died inexplicably. Number six, if someone stops your vehicle at night and asks to come with you, it would probably be in your best interest to politely decline. Number seven, killing is the last method of survival. Use it sparingly, but without fear. Number eight, who was phone is always a good thing to ponder. Also, who the hell answers a phone while kissing a dead person's sexy daughter? A douche is who? Number 9. Get a simple 38 revolver. Load it with two silver bullets. If you really feel there is no chance to come out alive out of a situation, take one shot at whatever is threatening you. If this doesn't work, you still have the last shot to become a hero with. Number 10. Area 51 is simply too well guarded to let you get in. Or to let any alien out. Number 11. When going to a hotel, try to steer clear of unauthorized areas. If you couldn't resist by you If you couldn't resist but you saw a red thing, take some time to consider the price range and hotel standard of your next visit. Have you ever stayed at a haunted Hilton? Number 12. When booking your hotel stay, TripAdvisor can be an invaluable tool in deeming whether your choice in the scene of a multiple murder slash full of dead people slash built at the mouth of hell. Local newspapers can also be helpful. Number 13. Invoking demons, speaking weird languages, and performing rituals of any kind is considered dangerous. Refrain from doing that, especially around, but not limited to, abandoned warehouses, churches, psychiatric institutions, forests, and your house in front of a mirror at night. Number 14. When going to a new area, environmental understanding is a key to survival. Ask for cursed places, legends, dangers, and other details. Listen to the local people's advice and don't be afraid to ask if you're unsure of which attacks or disappearances are paranormal and which aren't. Number 15. Always have a Bible next to your bed. Provides average reading material, proof of beliefs, and a really heavy object to throw at your enemies. Number 16. Don't count on holy water. Get a sturdy vial of sulfuric acid and let a priest consecrate it. <laughs> Number 17. Japanese priests clean... Japanese priests cleanse rooms by waving katana swords around. Their ritual is 100% effective on corporeal forms. Number 18. If you find 666 messages you on your phone, mailbox, email, etc., considering changing the said service provider. Also, don't bother listening reading the message. It's spam. Extra dimensional possibly, but spam nevertheless. Number 19. Old pharmaceutical companies can't help you unless you specifically need blood of the innocent, snake oil, and radioactive syrup, which is never. Number 20. If you need to sign it in blood, you don't need to sign it. All mainstream governing bodies will accept contracts signed in ink. Bear this in mind with offered deals that seem to be too good to be true. 
21. Number 21. Lighthouses are dangerous. Avoid them at all costs. If you work at a lighthouse, consider a career in insurance sales or veterinary care. Number 22. There is simply no reason to listen to music that causes suicidal tendencies or to watch films that have strange slash disastrous consequences. Number 23. If you like to plan ahead and have some money, buy your auntie and uncle a house in Bel Air. Nothing can harm you there no matter how scared your mother is. Number 24. Secret secluded untouched places in old buildings are left untouched for a reason. Pioneers never say, die, but in fact they do have an unusually high mortality rate. Number 25. Before you start swimming in the ice cold waters of a murky lake at the center of a dark forest at midnight, ask yourself, do you really want to travel to an ancient and terrifying city? If the answer is no, then stay at home instead and watch whatever quality programming is available on Cinemax. Number 26. On your 33rd birthday, try celebrating in a well-lit house with the company of others. Number 27. Refrain from what? Refrain from using the one true name for anything. There's probably a reason why people gave it a nickname. Number 28. Watching TV static for long periods of time may be hazardous for your health. Try satellite TV to combat this problem. Number 29 get a cat. Those furry little hairballs seem to per per perceive unnatural phenomena better than us and, if desperate, simply throw it at whatever's about to get you. Number 30. Cemeteries are bad places, especially in foggy conditions and on Halloween. Number 31. Try not to close your eyes. Ever. If you must, do so only briefly. Number 32. If you hear chanting, run until you're out of earshot. Number 33. If you're too old to play with dolls, you don't need to be anywhere near one of these creepy little fuckers. Number 34. Legends can offer valuable insight of where not to go camping with friends. Number 35. Even when babysitting, ascertain the family's tastes and preferences to avoid being killed by poorly selected statues. Number 36. Even if you are certain that running will not save you, it is always best to try. Follow these simple rules and little or massive harm may befall you. Either way, the important thing is to make sure your tale is told, copied, and pasted repeatedly. Well guys, obviously that's a, a bit of a parody pasta, and it pretty much just, uh, uh, how do I put this, it's pretty much making fun of every ritual pasta I've ever read. <laughs> um, so uh, there is a survival guide for you guys, uh, pretty, uh, pretty useful tips, um, I would say they're common sense, but uh, you know, this is... Uh, well, you get my point. Anyway, uh, thanks again, guys, for joining me. I hope to see you next time. This is the Voice of Insanity signing off.